Hello everybody, this is Satish from SG Multimedia and today we are creating a this counter application using our volume keys like whenever we press volume up it is going to increment our counter and when we press volume down it is this side. So let's get into Android Studio. creating a new project calling it as a sg and hitting next all the parameters same putting the main activity as a empty activity and let's wait for it we have done with the gradle build part let's go to our resource file for our layout I am using the same text view as this is and let's change the text to 0 and let's change some parameters like size of the text and the color. So what we need, we need to change the size of the font so size should be like 30 sp and it is not visible clearly so let's try 120 and give the style to our text as a bold and after this we need to give the id to access this text view from our java file i am giving it as a number and let's go to our java file and for this what we need we need to create an object of our text view and calling it as a number same as that of id and we need to initiate or initialize this object what we have created number by find view by id method and and to use our volume keys we need to import our method by using our shortcut like control O you can search here as a patch key event dispatch key sorry dispatch key event and this method and select this method and hit enter ok now we have imported the method dispatch key event and for this we need two variables like for getting the action as well as for the event like a key code we need code of that key so I have created two variables in which action that should be equal to event dot get action and by this method we will get the action like a uh, user is pressing like pressing the volume button or releasing the button that should we get and the key code is for getting the like uh, we will get the uh, which button is pressed like volume up or volume down for this event dot get key code we are using a switch case for this and inside the switch case we need to pass the key code like which key is going to press so inside this sorry for that after the switch case first case is of like a key code of pressing volume up button so event dot volume up whenever this button will be clear uh, like pressed we will get into this loop after this 
where we need to check the action of this button like is it is it pressed up or is it pressed down so it will get us get us by using the key event dot action dot we are selecting here we are selecting here uh, action dot up so whenever the volume key will be released the the then this condition will be true and it will get inside this loop and for this we need one integer variable calling it as a count and we are initializing it with the zero whenever this volume up button will be pressed this uh, the count should be incremented and after this increment we need to show it to our text view so uh, we need a string string of number is equal to count so we need to we need to parse it to a string so we we can migrate it uh, you can use this by string dot value of so it will be in, uh, wrapped into a string and after this our text view we need to set the text of the set the text to this text view simply by giving the num and this is done for our volume up key Sim similarly for our volume down key we need to create a key event action dot sorry event dot volume dot down so whenever there is there is possibility of pressing the volume down we need to check one condition that the key code sorry key event dot action dot is it down means is it pressed or not we need to check it check this condition so it will be get by using the action and after inside this what we are create what we are doing is is that we are resetting the counter uh, app so count is equal to zero and after this we need to set the text view also so it will definitely give us that result so what we have done basically we have created a key event of key volume of and after this we have checked that is it uh, action of uh, like releasing the volume up button is happened or not if it is then it will go to and execute this and after this we and now it's installing the app to our emulator and let's check our application whenever we press volume up it is going to increment but it is not increasing it is a resetting button but whenever we are pressing it is going to zero so let's check what we have done and 
need to break oh we forget to break the statement break the case loop break Take our application and whenever I press, as you can see, we succeed. Whenever there is an action of up, like when we press and release the button, it is going to increment. So when you change this up to the down, like this. And let's check you will get how the action is applying here so now when I will keep pressing this button it is going to increment automatically but as we are creating our counter app we want only whenever the user press only single times it should be incremented on one single time so here should be a action dot up and we have done with this application and thank you guys for watching this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates thank you